And here in North Texas, it seems like everyone's still talking about mm. the weather. I mean, it's hard not to this think about This weekend was just brutal it out was. there. Yeah, it, it was. was the hottest weekend in seven summers. Yeah. So, yeah, that was probably noticed by most people. <laughs> probably. Uh, most of people, of course, spent most of the weekend indoors. But this is how your Monday morning looked like, this time lapse this morning. Beautiful color in the sky. There's still a little bit of dust out there, but some high, thin cloud cover. That's all that's in the way. What's a little different today, instead of a southwest wind, we have a northeast wind, and that's going to temper the temperatures all about five degrees. Of course, when you're coming off a high of 109, that still translates to a high temperature of 103. Hence, we do have a heat advisory out. But we're not going to have a record high today if the forecast holds. Yeah, after four days in a row of record highs, and like I said, the hottest temperatures we had seen in seven summers, we're going to have a high today. It's only two degrees below the record high. The heat advisory in effect for most of the Metroplex and just to the south. Yeah, there's an excessive heat warning out again. It, this is where there will be some record highs, like in Waco. They'll have a record high today. It, the only reason you get green grass looking like this this time of year is because you're watering it almost every day. That's the look in Frisco at 91 degrees. So keep in mind, we're under a severe drought in most of the Metroplex. It's been dry for a while. The outdoor burn bans, in effect, for most of the counties in North Texas. There's high grass fire alert today for most of North Texas today as well. What we could use is a little bit of rain. All we're seeing right now is just some high thin cloud cover. That's the weak frontal boundary that came through here. It's now stalled out over by the Metroplex. But notice this system right here. Uh, this is actually going to try to make its way into North Texas. This is a little bit of an upper air disturbance. And though it looks like, oh, this is a good rain chance, no, the air is so dry, most of this will evaporate before it reaches the surface. So what you end up with is some really gusty winds. Now, if it happens way above the surface, you can actually get temperatures rise a little bit with those winds that will be picking up as they hit the ground. We'll keep an eye to that across not only the end of the day, but across the evening as well. So expect some gusty temperatures, and then all that leaves. The rain chances, the chance of the rain actually hitting the ground, pretty small, 10 to 20 percent at best. This ridge of high pressure is not going away. It's just not sitting right over us. So we get a northwest flow aloft tomorrow. That's the day where it doesn't hit 100 degrees. But with this so much dominant in the weather pattern, we're right back to 100 degree days. There's the respite from the heat all of one day, a break from the bake, and then right to triple digit highs all the way into the weekend.